When it comes to aircraft manufacturing, it's a very highly lucrative business, covering not just commercial aircraft, but also private and military aircraft as well. And there are several countries throughout the world that produce aircraft, but a very select few produces aircraft for commercial airline use. And more often than not, airlines bet their future plans with purchases of brand new aircraft. While there are smaller companies, the vast majority of commercial aircraft used by airlines around the world are built by the duopoly of Airbus and Boeing. And right now, Boeing is going through its own issues. And one would assume it's a much easier time for European aircraft manufacturer Airbus, which has been facing issues over delays of aircraft deliveries. However, Airbus has been caught up in a global bribery scandal, which the European aircraft manufacturer will pay a total of around 4 billion US dollars in fines to agencies in the United States, France, and the United Kingdom. And the fallout could get bigger with investigations starting up in several countries. This video will highlight the developments so far regarding this bribery scandal surrounding Airbus and several countries and airlines that have been named, including some of the big names in aviation. While the announcement of the settlement made big news this week, the United Kingdom's Serious Fraud Office began investigations as early as 2015 over allegations that Airbus was using third-party consultants to secure new aircraft order projects through bribery and fraud. That division has since been self-reported by Airbus itself, and that division has since been disbanded. The allegations and investigations actually impacted Airbus's ability to sell aircraft to airlines with limited funds after France and Germany suspended Airbus's export credits. Now, as part of a new plea bargain, Airbus will be paying nearly 4 billion US dollars in fines to agencies in three countries, the UK, US, and France, with a large majority of the fines going to be paid to the French authorities of over 2 billion US dollars, followed by two authorities and the US and UK of over 500 million and 1 billion US dollars, respectively. As part of the settlement, Airbus will avoid any corporate criminal charges and in France, the company will be monitored by anti-corruption agencies. Now, as Airbus looks to reshape its corporate practices, it has now been reported that there have been several investigations around the world that have started as a result of this settlement. And since the investigations surround the now-closed strategy and marketing division, which, which focus its sales on developing markets, which several airlines and governments in Asia, Africa, and South America have been named in various reports. So far, the countries that have been named include Taiwan, Indonesia, Malaysia, Nepal, Russia, China, and Colombia. And reports are emerging that Ghana is opening up an investigation regarding the purchase of military aircraft, while Colombia's airline Avianca is hiring a legal team to investigate its relationship with Airbus and if there was any wrongdoing, specifically in the procurement for new aircraft. And before going forward, these are allegations pending investigation and trial in their respective countries. The biggest name so far has been the Air Asia Group, which has since triggered a investigation by the Malaysian Anti-Corruption Agency over allegations that individuals representing Airbus paid over 50 million US dollars to sponsor a sports team owned by two Air Asia executives. The sports team in question is the Formula One team, Caterham Formula One, which has since been closed but was owned by Air Asia Group CEO Tony Fernandez and Group Chairman Kamaruddin Meronin. Air Asia has pledged to cooperate with authorities regarding the investigations and Fernandez and Maronun have voluntarily stepped aside from their duties immediately pending the outcome of the investigations. Another regional carrier that has been caught up in the allegations has been Sri Lankan Airlines with allegations that Airbus had hired a spouse of an airline executive and gave wrong information regarding the name and gender of the individual to the United Kingdom's Export and Finance Group which is the UK's export credit agency. The UK's investigators have also implicated airlines in Indonesia with allegations that bribes were paid to executives from Garuda Indonesia and the low-cost subsidiary CityLink, who were involved in crucial decision-making including aircraft purchases between 2011 and 2014. These are just some of the ongoing investigations and reports that have been surfaced so far. And given the large scope of Airbus's influence and share of the market in terms of commercial and military aircraft as well, well, this case casts a dark cloud over the purchases of Airbus aircraft as the European aircraft manufacturer has looked for ways to gain an advantage over its American counterpart Boeing. And with the few 
reported cases, there could be much more that we may not know about as other countries with airlines with Airbus jets could open investigations to see whether was, there was any wrongdoing involved in their processes to acquire new jets. And this will see huge business and political implications around the world in the cases. These companies are run by people and in the case of Airbus and the airlines, there are often times when both interact with each other and it's very hard to tell sometimes whether there's any wrongdoing intended or they're just casual discussions in the hopes of reaching deals that would best suit their companies. In the future, this would probably lead airlines to impose stricter restrictions for their employees, especially the executives, who are often involved in the key purchases of equipment and aircraft. As for the long-term impact on Airbus, Airbus will definitely be doing more corporate restructuring and imposing new restrictions on how they interact with the airlines, imposing stricter rules and regulations on its own company. So given a honest effort to clean up shop, we could see a smaller adverse impact compared to the scandal on surrounding the Boeing 737 MAX flight. Though again, there will be a dark cloud over any interactions from airlines when dealing with Airbus. As for the true scope of the investigations and this scandal, we will have to wait and see with the respective countries' investigators to release their findings. Thank you for watching. This has been another edition of Flights in Asia, highlighting the news and updates from the aviation and travel scene from the Asia Pacific. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Once again, thank you for watching and have a great day.